Good morning, everyone. I don't have any new toys I'm showing off today. However, I do have some pretty important information that I feel like really needs to get out there and needs to be heard because all too often I see people that are buying things or comparing things based on lumens when that's really not what they should be using. It's a useful metric for some things, yes. But if you're looking at a light bar, it's, it's important, but it's not the whole story. If you're looking at a light bulb, like say a Morimoto 2-stroke or a GTR Lighting Ultra 2, you want lumens. Lumens is the measure of light that's actually being produced. It is not taking into account where it's being aimed, where it's focused, any of that. But for a light bulb, you don't need it to be aimed or focused. It just needs to produce the light. For a quick demonstration, we're going to use this candle. We're going to say this candle is rated at one lumen and one candela. So, if I cover half of this candle up, it is still making one lumen. If I cover the entire candle up, it is still making one lumen. It does not matter where that light is going or what it's doing. It just matters that that light is being produced. Candela, on the other hand, is the measure of light at a set distance and a set angle. So... If I cover half of this candle up, from this side it is still making one candela. If I go over to this side, however, now it is making zero candela. It's completely ineffective. The intensity of light is what's important here. If I cover half of it up and view it from this angle, it might be making half a candela. If I put a decent reflector cup on here, from this side it might very well make two candela. A lux is very similar to that. A lux is the measure of light measured at a point. However, that can be thrown off unless you have some very sophisticated measuring equipment by things like ambient light or even something as simple as someone pulling out their cell phone. The light off the screen reflecting around the room can have an effect on that. Lux can also very dramatically change based on the distance you are from it. Something as simple as a few feet can make a very, very large difference in the amount of lux. So that is very useful in very controlled conditions or when directly comparing one light to another. But if you don't know what situations each light was measured in, lux can be more or less useless too. So again, if I cover half this candle up, from this side at this point right here, it might be reading one lux. If I move half the distance in, Maybe it's reading 10 lux. If I go twice as far away, though, it might only be reading half of a lux. If I change the reflector cup on here, that might increase or decrease. It might very well increase or decrease based on the beam pattern that that reflector cup made at any given point. Off on the sides, though, again, if you cannot see the light, it is not making any lux at that point. To put it a little differently, I've got a laser pointer and a work light. This laser pointer is really not that bright. If you're trying to see something, you're not going to pull out a laser pointer to do it. It's pretty ineffective at that. However, if you look at a laser pointer, it's going to be incredibly intense light coming out of this end. It's going to be a very high candela. However, again, this is a very, very low lumen. This is also a very, very high lux at this point. But again, it is a very, very low lumen light. Moving on from that, we can go to this work light here. We turn it on. This is, say, 700 lumens being produced at this light right here. Overall, measured, it is... We'll call it a nice number, a 700 candela at this distance. If we turn it, now we are getting very, very little candela at this point. If we focus this light, I didn't change any of the settings of the actual output of the light. It is still making 700 lumens. However, at this point here, it could now be making 1400 candela. If I pull this away... It's still 1400 candela because candela is, again, a set distance from the light. 
So no matter where this light is, it's still being read from a similar point relevant to the light. With Lux, however, how close or how far I get from the point I'm measuring it at changes the measurement I'm getting by a, quite a lot. And again, how much I focus the light there changes the amount of Lux by quite a lot. So, hopefully that explained it a little to you. Hopefully you can understand a little bit better why buying a light bar or a pod light or a headlight based strictly on lumens is not exactly the best metric to use. If you're buying a light bulb, lumen is probably the only metric you're going to use, however. Unless, of course, you are able to find a comparison of someone who, in a relatively accurate manner, is able to put different light bulbs in the same housing, at the same distance, in the same environment. Then, if you can get a Lux reading, that's fantastic. That will let you know much better how well that light is going to perform. For example, I have these two lights because while the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 is emitting far more lumens, in fact, the effective lumens that this light produces is about 150% of what the Morimoto 2-stroke 3.0 produces. However, in some lights, depending on what vehicle you have, the two-stroke 3.0 might actually light things up better for you because the design of it is such that the housing itself is able to focus the light from this a lot better and illuminate the road in front of you better. This makes more light. This can be more effectively aimed. That's due to some other complicated things that we'll get to in another video. But again, lumens, just amount of light produced. Candela, intensity of a light at a set distance and at a set angle. Lux, measured intensity of a light at a given point from the given light source. Again, hopefully that simplifies it a little for you. If you have any other questions, if you need any other help with trying to figure out what sort of measurement to use on your thing, or if you need any other help on headlights, taillights, light bulbs, pod lights, light bars, get a hold of us. Midwest Motor Lights, find us on Facebook, send us a message there, leave a comment. We'll try to get to every single YouTube comment we can, but unfortunately it is the YouTube comment section. We cannot promise perfection. Either way, if you like this video, like it, subscribe it. It tells us that this is something good and we need to make more of it. That's all I got for today. Have a nice day.